that I've always loved about your comedies, and it is so uh, noticeable in The Goodbye Girl, is that you write the funniest arguments. Now, normally, hmm. if I'm involved on the rare occasions when I'm involved in an argument, nobody ever says anything funny. And I, I well, wonder... That's, that's an interesting point. It's, it's a good one, because I think I do, and no one, I don't think, has ever mentioned it to me. Because I think arguments, when they get very heated and emotional, people say the most irrational things. And also, their mind is skipping ahead to their argument. And so you may say something, and they don't listen. They go ahead to the next, so it becomes a, a non sequitur. It just goes off in another direction. And particularly, it happens with uh, older people, I think. And I've written a lot about it in, uh, well, in the first play, in Come Blow Your Horn, trying to argue with your parents who are very determined to get their viewpoint down. They don't listen to your side, and they just go to theirs. Well, I enjoy writing arguments, but it's not quite that way in the, um, in the Goodbye Girl, although the because the arguments are... Uh, two very intelligent, witty people pitted head to head, and it seems to be amusing. I wonder, Neil, if you see The Goodbye Girl as an eventual TV series? I hope not. I'm, I, although I think The Odd Couple was a wonderful TV series, I would rather not have the plays be remembered for being on television for five or six years. I would rather they be I mean, no one would want to think of, uh, well, I don't want to make comparisons. I was going to mention some wonderful play. But uh, I would rather the play stay the entity that they were created as, or for, when I get the syntax right. <laughs> uh, but certainly not as a TV series. Do you see in your mind a sequel to The Goodbye Girl? That's possible, because I did, uh, I do have some pages on it. We were going to do a, a previous picture called Bogart Slept Here, which could easily be the sequel because it begins where the goodbye girl ends off, where, where the, he goes off to make a film. And so you would, of course, have to use the same people? Yes, yes. All right. Does this then say that even though this was the first time you and Marsha Mason, your wife, worked together, uh, is that saying that it, it was fine working together? Well, it was wonderful. It was the first time. We've already done the second time. The second time is a new film called The Chief Detective, uh, which is uh, starring Peter Falk and uh, it's sort of a, a number of Bogart films all sort of put together in one film. Uh, and that was a terrific experience. And so I'm working uh, now on another film, hopefully starring Marsha. So I, I think we'll continue to work together on and off. Did you see any other side of Marsha that you hadn't seen before when the first time you worked together? Well, we had worked together when we first met on a play called The Good Doctor. And uh, I mean, there was a heavy romance going on then, so we, it was hard separating the play and and our relationship. Uh, once we were married, and we were married uh, f almost three years uh, when we did the other picture, I was able to separate it. But um, I find new things about Marsha every day, not just in work. That's exciting. Yes. Neil, thank you very much for talking oh, with us pleasure. today here in New York. Thank you, Bonnie. Oh, that's plenty. Okay, where would you like me to look? Okay, can I cheat it? Would I dare That's cheat fine. it this much? That's okay. Fine. Oh, the lights, the lights. Since 10 o'clock. Well, you've been doing it since 10 also. You got it. Oh. Yes. You know what's sort of interesting is that unlike Bad News Bears, where the kids talk dirty away.